1,700 to 2,000 pastors a month are leaving the ministry, not just their churches, but the ministry, with discouragement and often with guilt. And if that many are leaving the ministry in a month, I've got to believe that many more are seriously thinking about leaving the ministry. The demands on pastors today are much different than when perhaps they entered into the ministry. Pastor souls need nurtured and cared for just like everyone else in the congregation, but so many pastors feel guilty prioritizing themselves in the midst of their ministry. Because of the pressures many of our pastors are under, they just don't feel like they can do that. Altar invites pastors to give themselves the gift of time away to pause, look, listen, and observe the waters of their own life, the waters of their soul, so that they can find something life-giving and return home different than when they showed up. This is not another church retreat or ministry conference. This is an opportunity for your wild soul to encounter our wild, untamed God in such a way that you find goodness and something life-changing. Soul care doesn't check off the boxes of what churches often think are important. There's something about being in creation, fishing in a stream with a mountain as a backdrop that calms the soul, that feeds the soul, that nurtures the soul. Fly fishing, I think, is one of these soulish experiences. Psalm 19 says, the heavens declare the glory of God. There's something about standing in a stream, casting a fly rod, looking up at the mountains at some of God's most beautiful creation, all of that together puts us in an environment where I think God is powerfully present, shows up, and even nurtures our souls. We come alongside these pastors and use fly fishing as a metaphor. Talk about reading the waters in fly fishing. In order to fish well, you need to understand where the trout are and we invite our pastors to read the waters of their lives as well, to pay attention to what God is doing in their lives. 50%, maybe a little more, of the people have come on altar retreats. It's their first time fly fishing. So it's our joy to introduce them or teach them uh, the art and beauty of fly fishing. On an altar retreat, you're gonna eat great food, you're gonna sleep in great accommodations, you're gonna find community and friendships, you're gonna fish in some of the nation's and even world's best and most beautiful trout waters, and you are gonna leave with a plan, with intentional steps to help you live forward the kind of life that you've really desired. It's more than just fly fishing. It's the relationships you form, it's the connections you form, and it's the opportunity to learn and grow. You don't have to be a fly fisherman to come. You just have to want to be with other pastors and really enjoy being in creation. Being open and honest with one another and saying, I'm struggling with this. And then you've got another pastor beside you say, hey, I struggle with the same thing. And another one's like, yeah, I'm struggling with that too. So to be able to have that conversation, realize, hey, I'm not alone in all this. Alter creates a safe place for the RPMs to come down, to take the masks off, to be honest with yourself, to be honest before God and others, to experience an adventure and tune your hearts to God's presence, both in times of quiet and in the beauty of His creation. A regular conversation with pastors, especially kind of middle-aged pastors like myself, is, am I going to make it to retirement? But there is a kind of looking forward, wondering, is this really it? One of our passions at Altar is to give pastors the encouragement and tools they need to be resilient for the long haul. Pastors are servants, so we often put other people before ourselves, and we're pouring ourselves out for other people, and we need a time to really be poured into and to be refreshed. When you leave an altar retreat, you are going home with a renewed sense of hope and energy and vitality. The scorecard for what pastors are supposed to be doing doesn't actually reflect on what pastors need to do for caring for their souls. Without setting apart time for your relationship with God and to be renewed, you're going to be preaching out of a vacuum. You're going to be pre preaching out of a deficit. The question is not what it costs to go, but the question is what would it cost not to go? We are changing the story and statistics of pastors in America today. 
We are equipping pastors to care for their souls and receive clarity and live and lead with fresh vision and a renewed spirit. Taking time to nurture your soul is not selfish. In fact, it's essential. It allows you to recharge your own soul so that you have even more to pour into the lives of others.